By the end of this video, you're going to know the three best ways to pet your cat and the top three things that you should avoid doing while petting your cat so that you don't make it scared or angry. If your cat has ever bitten you or run away while you were petting it, well, it's a sign that you could be making them angry. What not to do? First, let's go over what you should avoid doing. Number one, avoid rubbing their whiskers. Whiskers are incredibly sensitive and crucial for a cat's spatial awareness. They act as touch receptors, helping a cat judge distances and navigate through their environment. Whiskers allow cats to gauge whether they can fit through tight spaces, much like a built-in measuring tool. They extend to the width of the cat's body, giving them a sense of space and balance. When you rub or touch a cat's whiskers excessively, it can lead to sensory overload, causing discomfort and disorientation. Continuous contact can also cause whisker fatigue, a condition where the whiskers become overly stimulated, leading to stress and discomfort. This often happens when cats eat from narrow dishes that press against their whiskers. If a cat's whiskers are damaged or overstimulated, they can lose their sense of spatial awareness, making them anxious and less confident in their movements. To avoid, to avoid this, refrain from rubbing their whiskers and ensure they have wide, shallow dishes for their meals, helping to keep their whiskers intact and stress-free. Number two, avoid petting their paws and feet. Cats rely on their paws for many essential functions, including hunting, climbing, and self-defense. These activities make their paws highly sensitive and functional. Petting or playing with their feet can cause significant discomfort and may even trigger a defensive response. When you touch their paws, you might notice they, that they quickly pull away or try to bite or scratch you. This reaction is because their paws are delicate and play a crucial role in their, in their survival instincts. Additionally, the paws have numerous nerve endings, making them particularly sensitive to touch. Overstimulating these areas can lead to stress and anxiety, weakening the trust bond between you and your cat. To build trust with your cat, avoid petting their paws. Instead, focus on areas they find soothing and enjoyable. Now, before we get into the three correct ways to pet your cat, we need to cover the last thing you should not do. Number three, avoid rubbing their belly. A cat's belly is one of the most sensitive and vulnerable parts of its body. Unlike dogs, who often enjoy belly rubs, cats generally do not appreciate this type of touch. Their instinct is to protect their vital organs located in the belly, so when you rub this area, it can make them feel threatened. This can result in your cat reacting defensively by scratching or biting as a means of protecting themselves. The belly is extremely sensitive due to the presence of vital organs and a lack of protective muscle and fat. Cats typically expose their belly as a sign of trust and relaxation, not as an invitation for petting. Respect this by avoiding belly rubs and focusing on areas that are less threatening. Respect this by avoiding belly rubs and focusing on areas that are less threatening to them. This approach will help maintain your cat's trust and prevent any defensive reactions. What to do instead? If you want your cat to love you and the way you pet it, try doing these three things. Number one, rub the base of their chin. The base of the cat's chin is a prime spot for petting. This area is filled with nerve endings, making it a highly sensitive and enjoyable spot for your cat. 
gently rubbing the chin can provide immense pleasure and relaxation. Additionally, this area has scent glands, which cats use to mark their territory. When you rub their chin, you're helping them spread their scent, which is a comforting and bonding activity for them. This helps your cat feel secure and reinforces their bond with you. It's a simple yet effective way to show your affection. The scent glands located here release pheromones that help reduce stress and anxiety in cats. This act of petting the chin not only comforts your cat, but also strengthens your relationship by creating a sense of familiarity and safety. Number two, pat the top of their head. The top of a cat's head is another excellent spot for petting. Cats can't easily groom this area themselves, so they often enjoy having it gently stroked. When you pat the top of their head, you mimic the grooming behavior they experienced from their mother as kittens. This grooming action can bring a sense of comfort and security, making it a re relaxing experience for them. Gentle strokes on the head can help to calm your cat and strengthen your bond. Be sure to use soft, slow movements to keep them relaxed. The top of the head is also a neutral zone where most cats feel safe being touched. This area doesn't have the same level of sensitivity as the paws or belly, making it an ideal spot for gentle, soothing. Number three, pet their neck and shoulders. The neck and shoulders are less sensitive than the belly, making them a safer and more enjoyable area to pet. Many cats lean into petting in these areas when they're feeling content and comfortable. This region also has scent glands. This region also has scent glands, especially around the face and ears. Petting their neck and shoulders can be very soothing and help reinforce the bond between you and your cat. It's a great way to show affection without making them feel vulnerable. Cats often respond positively to gentle consisting strokes in this area. This area is also associated with social grooming seen in cats, where they groom each other around the neck and shoulders as a sign of companionship and trust. By petting your cat in this way, you mimic this social behavior, which can help deepen your bond and create a positive experience for your cat. By following these tips, your cat will be more relaxed and happy while you pet it. Remember, avoid the whiskers, the paws and the feet, and its belly. The Instead, focus on its chin, its head, and its neck. Your cat will thank you. If you like this video and want to see more cat videos, please smash that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video.